Following the untold suffering on the people of northern Uganda and South Sudan, the UPDF launched a final attack on the Lord's Resistance Army rebels in an operation dubbed Operation Lightning Thunder. The main objective of the operation was to annihilate the LRA and capture or eliminate the LRA chief, Joseph Korn. The operation failed to achieve both objectives and forced the UPDF to pursue Korn and remnants of his fighters into the Garamba Forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Korn shifted camp west of Garamba to the jungles of Obo and Jema in the Central African Republic as the offensives against the LRA intensified. In pursuit of the LRA, the UPDF deployed its troops in the Central African Republic in 2009. Now, eight years on, the UPDF believes that Korn, still wanted by the International Criminal Court for war crimes, is no longer a threat to the region and decided to end its operations in the Central African Republic. As UPDF uh, ensured that Korn is now decimated, is a, is a reduced force. It's no longer a state threat to this, the country of Uganda and, the, and its people. 31 UPDF fighters have today returned home and were received at the 4th Division Air Base in Guru. This was a decision by the Commander in Chief, the Excellency the President, to withdraw the force and uh, to bring it back here for our, our home duties. Since we are back, I feel calm, we go and everybody is now happy to our country here back. Life is okay, but uh, as you see, the civilians are very much likely as the UPDF to be there in uh, the area of uh, South Sudan and South Sudan, uh, Central Africa. The 2,000 Ugandan troops have been part of the regional task force from the Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan and the Central African Republic formed in 2012 by the African Union and assisted by 100 special forces from the United States. However, Uganda was the only active African force deployed. American special forces also ended the five-year U.S. mission to kill or capture LRA commander Joseph Korn in March this year.